Uh, I'm a physical therapist for 15 years, and I have postgraduate and the in the hospital and the, the clinical hospital in Sao Paulo. It's a big center in the treatment and the pain, specific in the treatment and the pain. And I'm a postgraduate in the rehabilitation sports. And I, I, I think I have a little uh, experience for this patient. And in my clinical uh, every day, I, I have a patient with chronic pain and have a problem with heart desert. Because it is very important for me, it's very interesting for me, uh, share more, learn more about this. Uh, currently, cardiac disorder is the main cause of the death in the world. It's responsible for uh, substantial demand in the health system. It's not a new, not for anyone. But uh, chronic pain is the most cause for disability in the world. Uh, for me, in my, my presentation, I talk about exercise with patients who have chronic pain. But patients who have chronic pain and heart desert have an, uh, a, a, oh, when I, it's possible between two pathologies. Is that direct relationship between the two pathologies? Yes. And in my article, having uh, individuals with chronic musculoskeletal pain have a high incidence for developing cardiac desert. And it's possible to observe relationship between low back pain and the cardio dysfunctional. It's very common patients having heart problems, having low back pain, and have uh, other causes for pain. For chronic pain, is a patient, chronic patients, it's complicated patients, complicated clinical management. 10% of individuals undergoing cardiac surgery had persistent chronic postoperative pain more two years. It's a high number for the patient don't evolve well. What is the impact of pain on individuals with cardiac dysfunctional? is a, a, a question for me in, in my article. The risk for uh, cardiac desert were associated with increased pain intensity, independent of the factors such as age, sex, comorbidities, and lifestyles affects menstrual in this study. The pain is the most cause for the poor prognosis of this patient. Musculoskeletal pain is present in individuals undergoing cardiac rehabilitation, reducing their quality of life and the functional capacity. Functional capacity is very important for better prognosis of this patient, for the good rehabilitation, cardiac rehabilitation. A significant correlation was observed between the increased intensity and chronic of pain is associated with the risk of cardiac desert. Individuals with chronic pain demonstrate a significant decrease in recreational physical activities, de deterioration of functional mental health, and worsen for sleep and disturbing balance and the diet. It's a poor prognosis because the treatment for this patient having attended the behavior, changed the diet, is uh, introducing physical activities. But the pain is the most cause for you don't have a good prognosis. 27% of individuals had musculoskeletal pain, mainly in the lower limbs, resulting in a worse prognosis for cardiac rehabilitation. Pain management is essential for a better prognosis of these patients. High prevalence of moderate to severe no cardiac pain individuals with the lumbar being the most affected, and only 5% of individuals underwent no pharmacological treatment, but no pharmacological treatment is a, a, a good for your, your change the situations. Pharmacological treatment is very important, I think, but treatment specific for pain, change the, the quality of life, getting better the capacity, your physical capacity, and change the, the behavior. The literature points out some physiological alterations of pain. The actors observed high levels of insights in individuals with chronic pain. Insights is increase the frequency, the cardiac frequency, the blood pressure, and it's a clinical 
poor for diagnosed cardiac disease. Patients with chronic low back pain rating to the less having a lower intellectual functional education level when compared to patients without pain. Is a, the literature observed the difference for patients have pain or the patient don't have a chronic pain and the patient don't have chronic pain having a better prognosis. But the management pain is very important for good prognosis of this patient. Individuals with chronic pain show a change in the autonomic nervous system with increased excitability of the sympathetic nervous system and a probable cause for the increased risk for cardiac dysfunction. Chronic pain changes the central nervous system, causing increased per harbor sensitivity. Individuals with chronic pain have a high levels of kinesophobia with increased pain and alters the proprioceptive system, reduce functional capacity. Uh, this article demonstrates individuals with pain having a less adherence to exercise. Exercise is a, a, a better treatment for patients having cardiac disease for getting better the conditional, the cardio, cardiac conditional. But pain is a, a poor prognosis because patients don't have an adherence to this treatment. Before starting the exercise, strategies are needed to reduce the pain levels. Manual therapy in, man in pain in management is my article research when my last year I published this article. And I talking about uh, efficiency for manual therapy for management in the pain. Manual therapy is one of the oldest therapeutic results used in the rehabilitation. We can describe in this technique as the using of manual skill include but not limited mobilization or manipulation. I think it's soft suit, other techniques involve man, uh, it's important in manual therapy. People associated manual therapy are manipulation. Manipulation, low back pain, manipulation, spinal, but is not manipulation. Manual therapy is a technique for uh, getting better to suit and improving the quality and the movement. In order to modulate the pain and improve the range of motion, it was observed possible to observe a clinical improvement in pain with a reduction in the central uh, concentrations of the inter inflammatory biomarker interleucin 1B. It's responsible for control in the pain, control in the level in the pain, and getting better the process inflammatory. Improving the facial distensibility, getting better the movement. It's more easy in practice and movement practice as exercise. And the central nervous system inhibit, uh, inhibit, inhibiting pain reflex areas and kinesophobia. Because the change, the alteration in the nervous system, it's possible people in, uh, getting better the movement for don't have pain in the movement. The movement. Studies showed go, good evidence for pain reducing the first sessions. It's a big problem. People uh, have treatment, it's a long monotherapy and a long time. Monotherapy have evidence for the first two or the third session, but it's necessary multimodal treatment. It's not a long monotherapy. It's necessary to be associated with other techniques or therapeutic reasons to minimize and replace and increase in the pain. Pain alters the movement control, inhibiting muscle activity and altering the proprioceptive system. This change making the individual perform excessive or insufficient muscle contra contractions. Generating loss of mobility and joint hypermobility. Loss of joint stability and functional capacity, making it impossible to practice exercise. Motor output is a high adaptable, can be influenced by multiple mechanics at various levels along the nervous system, 
and may vary between individuals despite similar diagnosis. It's a possible treatment about control learn, control motor. And uh, in ev evaluations, you need uh, C and you high intensity contractions, muscle contractions, or you inhibit inhibitions, muscle contractions. It's possible you don't have an, a good movement, you have a, a lost move, motor run. It's possible you have an, a high movement. Because it you need control in this patient, control the movement of this patient for introducing the exercise. Monitoring a multidisciplinary team is essential in this treatment. Manual therapy should be introduced in the first sessions until the patient is able to perform a control motor exercise. For me, the two uh, treatments and other treatments, medical treatments, pharmacological treatments, good diets, and other professionals involved in this treatment. But for introducing the cardiac rehabilitation, introduce the exercise is a strategy, is a good strategy when I observe in the literature. The exercise should be directed towards functional activities, enabling the practicing of the physical activities. Then education, self-treatment and good communication. It's normally people have been having a, a, a poor adherence in the exercise and the rehabilitation because uh, thinking in the I, I practice exercise, my pain is high, 11 my pain, but it's not uh, true. The literature demonstrates you need more education, this patient for introduce exercise for impor importance for your getting better the movement for the better prognosis this patient because it's good communication and the pain education is very important and people don't have an, uh, need the therapeutic in the, your life people have management self treatment the, ter the physical therapists or other professionals need more uh, information about the treatment it's possible people introduce the self treatment in your life for a better prognosis thank you very much sorry for a little problem. If I don't understand me or any questions, talk me, please. Laura, uh, if you to be in the class, it, to be participated, okay for me.